In this tutorial, we'll do a quick little review of groups and layers and lighting, say between cycles rendering and conventional rendering, the game engine, just a variety of things to kind of help kind of tie things up. And the reason I'm going to do it is because this house that I designed oh, quite a few years ago, uh, when I first did it, I didn't have it all grouped together. I wasn't familiar with grouping, which I use extensively now. It is actually grouped now, but when I first made it, I just kept putting things on different layers. So you can see down here, if I was to turn that layer off there, that's the front of the house. And that what is this layer? I don't even know what that layer is. And this layer, uh, that's the roof of the house. So that's how I used to, I used to put things on different layers which isn't a bad thing. A better way to work is to put things on individual layers. Like what is this thing down here? I like to reserve say maybe these five for lighting only. That way it's easier for me to stay organized. And we'll do just that. Let's see what this one is here. It must be, oh, it's that piece. Don't even need that. All right, we're gonna clear that out for starters. We'll get rid of it. All right, let's go turn on the layers that I know were active. That was, whoops. These three were on, that was off. That was on, that was on, these must have been on like that because I see highlights there. All right, so now what I'm going to do is, first I'm going to do is I'm going to take this object here, which happens to be on layer seven, 8, and that is my light. That's nothing more than this plane, a big giant plane, and that's the light that I use when I render in cycles. All right, that's all I'm using for a light in this scene. One big giant flat light for cycles. I'm going to move that. So I'm going to have that there that'll be a my that'll be a light layer and then let's go look outside the scene for a second then i have all these other lights and these lights i use when i'm in texture mode within blender render like this all right so i have different lighting for different reasons because sometimes it's working real time within blender render or within the game engine and when you're in the game engine you can't use cycles lighting so i have to have both so i'm going to take these lights here i'm going to move these onto their own separate layer I'm going to put those there. All right. So now I have now I have lights. They were on layer one, but now th that's layer seven. So I'm going to bring that back into play. All right. So now there's those lights there, and I'll go back on the inside. And the cycles layers turned off because I don't need it. And you'll notice though, if I go into cycles rendering like that, you still get a default lighting. But if I go into cycles render here in the viewport shading mode. You see it's not, it's trying to render real time without a light. So if I just put it back on, then I have cycles rendering taking into effect. And if I turn off the other lights that were in the scene, that were out there, they don't, it doesn't matter because cycle render cycles doesn't know about those kind of lights. It only uses the lights that you set up within cycles, the emission type lighting that you set to objects. All right, so having those on different layers is really helpful to me for numerous reasons, All right, I'm going to go back into texture mode for a moment. That way I can kind of switch back and forth between the two because if I go into the game engine and I'm working in the game engine in texture mode because I'm only looking at the cycles thing. So in the game mode, I have to get rid of the cycles lighting. I don't have to get rid of it, but I have to make sure I bring in the other lights into the scene. So there they are. All right, so in order to make it work, now I'm in game mode like that. And when I work in game mode, the reason is that I do different things in game mode that I do in cycles running. Like for instance, here in game mode, maybe I'll just add a cube to the scene like this. If you followed my gaming tutorials, you'll know what I'm about to do. Hey, where is it? It's somewhere in the scene, relatively close by. I'm just going to drop this cube into this channel real quick. And uh, I'll go to the physics tab and make it a rigid body. All right, so now I'm in the game engine. But I'm using, you know, my regular lighting and not cycles lighting. And then I press P. Let's see if this works. Yeah, there it is. It drops down into the channel and it goes and rolls in there. All right. So... That's the lighting I'm using in here. And then maybe I have maybe I like the way the scene works. Maybe I've saved this as a separate object. But for the final render, I want to switch over. And I, I can leave those there. It's not going to use it, but I'll just take it off. And I'll put the cycles renderer on here. And then when I hit F12 to render, 
Uh, let's see. It's because I have, need to be in Cycles Render. All right, now I hit F12 to render. Then I'm actually going to get a rendering of the thing using Cycles Lighting and the Cycles Renderer. So I kind of switch back and forth between the two. Actually, it's rendering this because I have the simulation saved with uh, with all the water. And you'll notice that, let's get rid of that. Where is uh, the cube? Well, I'll tell you where the cube is. The cube is on that layer. So let's just move. I like to move objects on their own layers. So let's move that to this layer there and bring it in. So now the cube is in the scene as well. But you no now notice what's going to happen when I try and render it. Where is that cube? Normally, if you're in Blender Render, you would go into your into this mode here and you would give it a new, say, color like this to render. So you want it to be red. And if I went into Cycles and was to try and render that, well, it shows up there using that. But to really make it work right, I have to use nodes. And maybe I make it a glass object within Cycles. And then when I render it, there it is, it becomes glass within here. So you have to do kind of both at the same time. You have to make sure. So what you can do is uh, set these, set them into different layers, and then set your lighting into different layers, and then you can kind of test between the two. Well, I hope that didn't confuse you. I'll see you in the next video.